Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Body, a guide for occupants. The human body is a fascinating and beautiful machine. Whether it's the brain, a wrinkled blob resembling overcooked yellow pudding that gives us our ability to think, our skin that protects us from heat, cold, and does its best to self-repair cuts and bruises, the heart with its never-ceasing beating, transfusing blood to the other organs of our body which work in concert diligently keeping us alive. Still, or perhaps due to our fascinating intricacy, we encounter many biological challenges in our lives. Even our gestation causes issues for our mothers. Just look at the morning sickness of pregnancy or the challenges of attempting to give birth to a baby whose head size exceeds circumference of the birth canal. Even common ailments like back and knee pain or cancer, are all byproducts of evolution. As annoying as evolution can be, without it, we could not exist. Understanding this process, along with its benefits and dangers, is fundamental to understanding ourselves. When Bryson set about writing his best-selling books, he performed extensive research. This included conducting in-depth interviews with 38 distinguished scholars, experts, and doctors in various medical fields. Bryson also personally visited many academic research institutions in the UK, US, and the Netherlands, such as Oxford, Harvard, Stanford, and Penn State Universities, as well as Princess Maxima Children's Cancer Center in Utrecht. As a result, this book was well received by general readers and medical professionals alike. Angus Brown, the Associate Professor of the University of Nottingham Medical School, praised Bryson, saying he has consulted an impressive cast of international medical experts, including a couple of my work colleagues, as his sources, whose expert knowledge and opinions add a welcome degree of rigor. The Daily Telegraph commented, It is a feat of narrative skill to bake so many facts into an entertaining and nutritious book, where Byerson really shines is in his imaginative glosses on the facts he has collected. The New York Times Book Review said that this book is good at allaying fears and busting myths. And according to the Washington Post, if you flip through this book, and you will marvel at the brilliance and vast weirdness of your design. Think of this book as an exciting museum of human science, and Bryson, without a doubt, as the funny and knowledgeable curator. Let's begin this fantastic journey with the following three parts. Part 1, An Imperfect Creation. Part 2, From Birth to Death. Part 3, The Subtlety of Creation. Part 1, An Imperfect Creation. Evolution is not perfect. It isn't a straight path from fish to mammal to homo sapiens, there are many failed branches and divergent pathways leading to everything from the noble lion to the confusing platypus. When you understand this it can seem hopeless to investigate something as mysterious and complex as the human body, where would you even start? Bryson chooses to begin with the largest building blocks of our body, our organs. Through the history of each one's evolutionary development, we can begin to piece together the vibrant genetic tapestry that leads to our creation. The first organ we need to analyze is the one you're using to process this bookie, your brain. This organ, which looks like a piece of half-melted butter, tender tofu, or overcooked jello o pudding, is nearly 80% water, with the remainder being fat and protein. Seemingly inconspicuous, it is one of the most fascinating wonders of the natural world. Even if you sit back and try to do and think of nothing, in just 30 seconds, your brain will process more information than the Hubble Space Telescope has done in its entire 30-year existence. Capacity-wise, the human brain can hold 200 exabytes of information. This means it can accommodate almost all the digital content in the world. Just a single cubic millimeter of your cortex, a sand-sized piece of your gray matter can store 2,000 terabytes of content. In just this one tiny piece of brain you could store all of the movies and trailers ever made. Despite such a large amount of storage and data processing capacity, the brain does not consume as much energy as many would think. The brain consumes just 400 calories of energy, at a steady rate every day. That's equivalent to just one blueberry.